Under My Roof can help you keep track of household supplies. Tap or click the browse bar and select Supplies to show the supply list. Tap or click the plus button at the bottom to add a new supply. Give the supply a name and add any other relevant information such as the make, part number, category, and location. Set the alert when low field to yes if you wish to receive an alert when you are running low. The alert is displayed when the quantity on hand reaches or drops below the amount in the alert quantity field. You can also add a supply by scanning its UPC EAN barcode and Under My Roof will try to look up its information online. Supply categories are useful for organizing your supplies. Tap or click the folder button in the upper right corner of the supply list to manage them. Tap or click the plus button to add a new supply category. Select the supply list filter at the top of the supply list to show only supplies belonging to a particular category. Tap or click on a supply in the supply list for a more detailed view of the supply. If you keep the supply at more than one location in your home, tap or click the plus button in the top right corner of the location subsection to add a new location. You can also tap or click on a location to manually change the quantity on hand. Tap and hold or right-click on a location and select Move Quantity to move a quantity of a supply from the location to other locations. Select Purchases to view all of your purchases of the supply. To add a new purchase, tap or click the Add button at the top and enter the purchase information. The fields will be automatically filled based on the previous purchase, if one exists. If price per unit is set to yes, the price field will reflect the price of a single unit. If it is set to no, the price field reflects the price paid for the quantity entered in the quantity field. The purchases detail view is shown automatically after it is added. The distribution section of the purchase detail shows how the purchase quantity is allocated among the supply's locations. Tap or click on any location to change this distribution. You can also tap or click on a purchase in the purchase list to view its details later on. One way to track supply usage is through maintenance tasks for homes, items, locations, and collections. You can specify the supplies needed to perform the task in the Supplies section of the Maintenance Tasks Detail View. Tap or click the plus button in the Supplies section and set the quantities of the supplies needed to perform the task. Whenever you check off the task, the needed supplies will automatically be deducted from the quantity on hand. Another way to record supply usage is through a repair or change entry. To do this, tap or click the plus button in the Parts and Supplies section and select Components from Supplies, and then select the quantity of the supplies used. To view and manage the usage history for a given supply, tap or click on the supply in the supply list and then tap or click Usage. You can also add your own usage entries by tapping or clicking the plus button at the upper right corner and selecting Add Supply Usage. Enter a brief description of the reason and tap or click the Edit Usage button to choose the quantity used from each location the supply is stored. The Usage section also keeps track of supplies that were thrown out, damaged, or given away. Tap or click the plus button and select Dispose of Quantity to add a new disposal entry. Enter a brief description of the reason and select the Disposal method in the How field. As before, tap or click the Edit Usage button to choose the quantity disposed from each location.